Good morning, everybody. Um, I just woke up from a dream. You know, the Lord says in the last days, He will give you visions and dreams. And this is like a second dream that I've had, but it was nothing compared to this. I've just woke up, so I didn't really want to feel my face, but I'm in tears. Everybody needs to hear this. The dream that he's given me, I'm going to try to go through it fast because it was kind of long. The dream that he's given me, I don't know, I was in town and there was a lot of people and a storm was coming and I had my little girl with me, I had Chloe with me, I don't know where everybody else was at. And there's a few people in my dream and um, people that I know and um. I was getting in my car because I told him that we were going to go to the church because we, you know, we get in the basement whenever a tornado or something comes. And this cloud that was in the sky, it was kind of like a vortex because it was so huge. And you know, the eye, the center of it, like a storm, it was covering half the sky. So me and Chloe gets in the car and we were driving and we're driving through town and we didn't make it past, um, let's say the courthouse that's in our town and all of a sudden just somebody else is driving my car and I look over to my left and I see I see the Lord coming down from the sky oh god it was so wonderful you just I told the person driving my car I said see I told you he was coming back for us they stopped the car and I got out and I took Chloe with me and we got we went down there where he was at and there was millions and millions and millions of people there was millions of people and the Lord was getting off the boat and some of the dream might be crazy, but I mean, he's trying to tell me something. The people were getting off the boat, and there was boats lined up, and they had crosses on the back of them, and there wasn't many at all. Because he says in the Bible, there will be only few that makes it in the heaven. I was standing there in line, because he was going to be judging. He was going to be judging each and every one of us. And my sweet Chloe was behind me, and she was talking to me and telling me something, and I was trying to, I was just so overwhelmed with Jesus being there, so overwhelmed that he was there. And then all of a sudden, I, I didn't hear her sweet voice anymore, and I was asking people where my baby girl was at. And the only thing I could think of is that she was already raptured up. But then I thought, no, because everybody was still there. So I just stood in line waiting patiently, patiently, because I was so excited. And Jesus walked right by me. And I said, I love you so much. I said, I knew you would come back. And then we were all getting in the line. And everybody was telling everybody to be quiet because we were fixing to be raptured. Raptured up. And then all of a sudden... Chloe was still on my mind, and all of a sudden, all these little kids were coming down these stairs. And he was going to judge the children first, because I knew they would all go. But the kids, the babies are innocent. And I thought to myself, my sweet Chloe's in that line, and I'm going to stand here, and I'm going to wait to see her go by, because I want to stroll over heaven with her one day. Oh, praise Jesus. This dream that I had is so real. I woke up. I was laying on my side and looking right. I mean, as soon as my eyes popped up and I could see my little girl. This dream was so real. People, please get ready and be ready if you want to stroll over heaven one day with your loved ones. Lord God, praise your sweet name. And I had to share this dream with you this morning, people, because it is real and he will be coming back. Just be ready, please. I promise you, I promise you that I'm not crazy, but I know the Lord and I love him and I want to go to heaven. I want to be 
pray in heaven with my loved ones one day. And I pray that this video goes viral and I pray that it makes it out because I have never in my life felt, felt this before the way I'm feeling now. <sighs> Seeing hell come back was just amazing.